see that lovely scripture. Yeah. And may she come and give us a prayer. Come over here, give us a prayer, please. Mm -hmm. It's the throne of grace. Any to have a special request on tonight? You are seeking the will of God in your life. Things are happening in your life, and you want God to Jesus Christ, our Lord, to step in and bless you. And he is here to bless and keep you in Jesus' name. At this time, my wife is coming. It gives prayer. In the name of Jesus, in the adorable and precious name of Jesus, what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. God, we thank you right now as we humbly come before you in your presence. We thank you, Lord, yes. for just being so good to us. Yes. First of all, we recognize Lord, mm. that you are the healer of us all. We thank you, Lord, because we, re we recognize that you died on the cross so that we might have the right to the tree of life. Mm. And then we thank you, Lord, not only did you stop there, but you gave your Holy Ghost freely mm. that we might be an example. Yes. And we thank you, Lord, for all the things, all the gifts that you have bestowed upon us. Those gifts yes. that, that we yet oh, yes. not recognize, but Lord, we asking that you would help us, Lord, to seek you yes. in these last and evil days. Oh, yes. These are the last days, Lord, and you know exactly yes. what is going on. And we trust you, Lord. Yes. We believe you, Lord. Mm. And we're going to serve you, Lord, until we die. And we just thank you right now for all things that you are to us. Those, Lord, that are sick and afflicted in their bodies. Mm. Those who are lost and can't find their way. We're asking you, Lord, to send and have mercy on those, Lord. Yes. Give them a mind to serve you in these last few days. Oh, God, we have saints that are not feeling well. And we have people who are just out and don't know which way to turn. We're asking you, Lord, to bless them in a special way. Oh, God, bring our minds in that we may serve you. Help us to be a light to others that we may draw somebody to Christ. And Lord, if you would do these things, Lord, bless Bishop Bala. Continue, Lord, to let him in the deep treasures of your love. Strengthen his heart, Lord. And bless all the saints of Smyrna and those that are around, those that are abroad. Oh, God, those that are in Ukraine, all the things that are going on that you know about. Oh, God, we know that it's in your hands. And that you are going to have just cause because you said revenge, vengeance is mine and you shall repay. And we thank you, God, for all things right now at this present time. Bless us and we shall be blessed. Keep us and we shall be kept in your adorable and precious name. Amen. Amen. We thank God for that lovely prayer. We thank God for his grace. Truly, God knows how. He knows how. He knows how to protect us. He knows how to encourage our hearts in the midst of all that's going on in this world. He is still in charge. Man think they are in charge. Man make decisions. And yet still man has no power to fulfill those decisions. It is a time. It is a place in Jesus' name. And it's time we asked my wife to come and Paris to give us a, a couple of songs at this time. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy. Right and true, yeah, with thanksgiving, I'll be a witness, sanctuary, love for you. 
Yes. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving. I'll be a living witness, sanctuary, Lord, for you. We thank God today because we want him to be a sanctuary because God is our sanctuary in the midst of all that's going on. He is our sanctuary. We love him for what he is. This other song. Um, Can you say a little bit more on that one, the old block? Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, yes. pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living witness. Yeah, sing it, sing it. Bring it up, Harry. Bring it up. Bring it up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, prepare me. Yes. To be a sanctuary. Pure and holy. Tried and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be a living witness. Yes. Sanctuary. Sing it, sing it. Lord, for you. Go ahead and sing it. Oh, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be a living witness. Yes, yes. Sanctuary. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit more, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. Lord, for you. 
Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Give us another selection. Seven people. All it mentions is the fact that she had a pursuit. I'm like, so you don't want your daughters to know what she's doing? She's going to get one eventually. Then what? You're going to wait till she gets pregnant to explain to her how ovulation works? Yeah. 
God for those selections. Truly, daily, I shall worship thee. Surely, giving him praise and honor for all that he has done in our life, in your life and my life, in our family's life. He has truly been everything to us. David said, when my mother and my father forsake me, the Lord shall pick me up. He has done more than I could ever imagine in my life. All the doors that he's opened the doors that were shut in my face. I had no way to get in, but God made a way for me to enter in to a better life. Many of us were locked out or shut out, but God made a way for us to get in to the storehouse of mercies, to the storehouse of love, to the storehouse of compassion. He made the way. When we tried so hard to find a way, he directed our path. So surely, I worship him today and honor him for his, his great goodness. Every day I wake up in the morning, I thank the Lord. I said, Lord, I thank you for a brand new morning. He said, brand new mercies that you give us every morning. Brand new mercies. And we praise God for those mercies because somebody in there going through and around the world, not only in Ukraine, but other parts of the world, they've been left out. I see how God is bringing up Africa, the continent of Africa. And I watch how, even with the, not the help of this country, other countries stepped in and began to invest in a Africa, the continent, second largest continent that was left out. But God made a way to bless that continent with all the thievery and all the things that have been done to those people. God is beginning to open doors. With gold lying in the streets, call off for phones and all the other resources now that they are able to, to enjoy the benefits what God has left for them. God is a just God. And he doesn't like evil. The evilness that's in this world. God does not like what's going on. But yet and see, we are going through and we're praying for people around the world. Nobody's sending the money to Africa when they're going through. Nobody even looked at the colony of Africa for help. With all what they went through, nobody invested, but countries around the world stepped up and blessed their continent. Thank God for what he has done. Praise God. We thank the Lord. We have a moving very swiftly. Now we have a special guest, uh, my friend, uh, uh, Dr. Nerding, that's my friend and neighbor, and also he's in the medical field of natural on the fact medicine deal with Genesis health and nutrition for many, many years. And I tell you, he has been doing some great things and doing great things. And we thank God for his leadership. And we thank God for his person uh, of a man of great integrity, a man of great faith. We praise God for him. Dr. Nerdine, if, if you would uh, open up and share with us tonight some things that I feel our community need to know. Listen, first of all, let me thank you uh, for this invitation, this opportunity to be here with you tonight um, and share with you mm -hmm. what God has blessed us with. And quite naturally, we're praying that you and Sherry and the family are, are doing well. Um, as you normally are in most cases, people don't know, as you mentioned, we're neighbors. 
and we connect with one another pretty much every day travel and eat and break bread with one another and have discussion about things that are going on in the world today so it is good to be here with you tonight i know that this wednesday night uh Amen. meeting of yours has been going on for hey, doctor, you talk up a little loud it's kind of hard to hear you oh you can't hear me can you I'm hear me now? Low. it's kind of low if you can speak up oh, can y'all hear, hear, hear me y'all let me know y'all out there I'm I'm turn this up. yes can y'all hear him y'all hear me pretty good yes yes okay, we can hear you they can hear you coming in live so i'm not coming in loud and clear uh bishop so it must be your phone bishop ain't nobody else's <laughs> yeah we can hear you now i got you look we hear you loud and clear thank you very very much look there's a there's a, a, a the heading on my uh website says health nothing matters more and i think what what has happened here in the last couple of years as a result of COVID striking the world affecting the world and taking its toll on so many people in the world that this reality has really set in with us as a public and i say that because um, health right now has raised the level of consciousness or sickness has raised the level of consciousness of people all over the globe and now we're more concerned and we're learning more about our health and seeking to protect it more today than we've had in the past. Most of us know that infectious disease has killed more people on this globe than anything since our evolution on this globe. And in some cases, way more than a million people have died from infectious disease. So we are, it appears what we're being told at this particular point that maybe we may be heading to the end of the pandemic, but all of you know, that's not the end of the virus. And the virus has been still evolving uh, since, the, since COVID from the very, very beginning. And the virus has been somebody evolving. Somebody's got their line open. Since, the, since COVID from the very, very beginning. Somebody has their line open, Bishop. Somebody, somebody's got their line open. Yeah, you need to you need to get off of your speaker, otherwise we're going to hear you in the background. Can you get off the speaker? Okay, there we go. Or either they turned it down. So 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 we're now the, our awareness and our consciousness has been stimulated. It's been taped. It's been taped on Zoom and Facebook at the same time. It's got a little feedback. So, 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 so we're now our awareness and our consciousness. But that's the recording. That's the actual recording that's playing back. No, see, that's the recording, Doc. But that's the recording. That's the actual recording that's playing back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you don't phase that out, then they can't, I mean, just trying to keep up with me. You yeah, no. Messages. Go ahead. Okay, so let's see. So, all right, so 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 here's the here's the bottom line. I mean, just trying to keep up with me. Yeah, no. Messages. Okay, they got I think you're good now. Okay, so so the so the bottom. So all right, so 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 here's the here's the bottom line. I'm wondering, is it me? Okay, so it's not me now. Okay, so 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 the so 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 here's the here's the I'm wondering is it me? Let me see. Can you all hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay, because I just want to make sure that it's, it, it could have been me giving the feedback, getting getting the feedback. Okay. So, all right, so 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 let's let's try to go on, and I'm gonna try to work with this. Um, yeah, this is not good. Let's do it. 
Okay, go ahead. We cut it down so you you should be able to clear now. All right. Okay. So so here here's the main thing. Our health is of great importance. All of us knows that, and it doesn't matter. Or all of us know that, and it does not matter whatever else you can come by, accomplish, achieve, achieve, or develop in this life. Without your health, you're not going to get a chance to enjoy it. It just doesn't work that way. Best house, best clothes, best everything. But without your health, you don't get a chance to enjoy it. You can't travel, can't do where you want to go, where you want to go, do what you want to do. I'll just, I'll just look at the whole factor uh, in terms of just dialysis today. And dialysis clinics are opening up everywhere, cities throughout the United States. And why? Because of chronic kidney disease. And, and, the, and the truth of the matter is, as people go to these clinics for dialysis, at least three times a week, they all come to the realization that they know dialysis does nothing to restore kidney function at all. And I'll say this to you all, uh, 35, 40 years ago, when I started in this industry, if you had a problem uh, with your kidneys, they would not put you on dialysis unless you didn't have any kidney function at all. But today, you can still have 20 or 30% kidney function, and they'll put you on dialysis. And the body functions just like everything else. It's going to follow the line of least resistance. If the kidneys don't have to work, they won't work. If something else will do the work for them, then they will allow it to happen. So none of us want to find ourselves in a condition like that today. And that's just one factor here in terms of chronic kidney disease and dialysis in terms of what's going on. So where are we in terms of prevention? Where, where, what, what are we doing to protect ourselves? What are we doing to protect ourselves from the viruses today? Many of us, most of us, I would dare to think have probably been, be, been vaccinated. I've been vaccinated. My wife has been vaccinated. And I would dare to think that most of you have probably been vaccinated. But I am conscious of the fact that I have to take something every day anyway, although I've been vaccinated. And I suggest this for my clients every day. Even though you've been vaccinated, you still need to take something. Why? Because you're having breakthroughs every day. I think it was yesterday we just found out that the former president, uh, Barack Obama, tested positive, been vaccinated, and boosted. And it still came through. So these breakthroughs are taken through. And not only that, there are other variations now saying that they are being stimulated or produced from COVID, from COVID on to, on to all these different names they can give to all these different viruses, they can do it. But the bottom line is, look, we have to protect ourselves. So what we've done, I have my own product line. Thank God I've been in business here uh, for about 40 years now. Originally, I'm from Buffalo, New York. I've been here in Greensboro now for approximately 27, 26, 27 years. My parents knew nothing about health and nutrition. My mother didn't know anything about it. My father didn't. Neither did any of my siblings. We pretty much, it was seven of us. I had three brothers, three sisters. We came up in a household that we pretty much ate what was put on the table that we were told was fit for consumption. And that's what we did. We ate what was, what, what, what was told was fit for consumption. But there was nothing in my background that would indicate that I would be doing what I'm doing today and what I've been doing for the last 35, 40 years, helping people with their health here in the United States and Canada, the Caribbean, and other people in other places throughout the globe. So tonight, here's what I want to share with you. First of all, because COVID is still here, not going anywhere, this formula here called Secure AV. This formula here was created for the pandemic. Just as the vaccine was created, what the naturopathic community did, we produced this product here, or products like it, to help ward off uh, or be able to defend ourselves against the virus. So this, this here is called Secure AV. 
this has in it. Let me share something with some of you all may know something about these nutrients. I'm going to tell you what's in here. And I, and I got a nine page monograph on this product here, nine pages. This study, had, study was actually been done by a major institution here in the United States. So let me tell you what's in this formula here that we got. And most people that, that are aware or conscious of these ingredients are very aware. Most of these ingredients have been used since time immemorial to address viruses. Here we go. Vitamin A, vitamin C, zinc, copper, lysine, astragalus root, milk thistle, elderberry powder, reishi mushroom extract, lion's mane, cordyceps, pardiaco, echinacea, golden seal, quercetin. And then what we have is an enzyme blend, a blend of various enzymes, our own, our own uh, enzyme blend, uh, that makes sure that you can absorb these nutrients. See, here's the thing about digestion. It's one thing to eat. It's another thing to digest. You can be eating and the, and the cells literally be starving. Why? Because digestion is impeded. If you're eating foods and you're taking in nutrients, you're getting carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, so on and so forth, but the body can't absorb them, can't digest them, can't use them, then the cells can literally be starving. And then we see this as we look at the skin of the person. The person realizes that they don't have enough vitality. They don't have enough energy. They don't sleep well at night. They're gaining weight. We can go on and on and on and on about what the, the, uh, the uh, outcome is just as a result of poor digestion. Got the good stuff, but you need digestive enzymes to make sure that your body can use them. So that's what we have in Secure AV. This is very, very powerful. How do you take this? There are 60 caps in here. You, the way you take this, you take two a day for the first five days. Then you start taking one a day. This bottle will last you for 50 days. If you just follow what I just shared with you. Two a day for the first five days, and then one a day. After that, so it'll last you for 50 days. This is something that, look, you don't have to do this, but it's just in your best interest. This is security for you to have this in your body and keep this in your body. Here's the other thing that we know about proteolytic enzymes. And you do have some in here, but here, these are proteolytic enzymes. These, but what do we find out about proteolytic enzymes? In fact, the, the Chinese found out first that protease, dissolves the coat on the virus. The virus is a protein. The coat that the virus wears is made of protein. And the spikes that are on that coat are made of protein. Well, what proteolytic enzymes do, they digest that coat. When they digest the coat, then the virus cannot dock itself to the lungs. Chinese found out early, and Europeans have it. We don't mention it much here in America. And look, people don't use ventilators around the world like we use ventilators here in America. This is a fact. And we don't realize, because here COVID doesn't attack the upper part of the lungs, it attacks the lower part of the lungs. Pneumonia, colds, and flus, upper part of the lung. But COVID attacks the lower part of the lungs. So when that moisture develops down in the lower part of the lungs, more oxygen coming in makes the situation a lot worse for too many people. And so in various places around the world, they're not into ventilators like we are. They suggest that you use inhalers more so using inhalers than the ventilators. And they found that to be helpful for the public. But again, the protease dissolves 
the coat. And when the coat is gone, then the virus can't dock itself to your lungs. And that's the main thing that you want. I'm almost done. Digestive enzymes. You need digestive enzymes with every all of your meals. If I if I if you if nothing else, if you don't walk away from here with anything that I've shared with you tonight, this you need to know. You need digestive enzymes with every meal. Your body was never meant to do all of the digesting, particularly with foods processed the way that we process them today. We boil it, we break it, we bake it, we fry it. We, we subject it to all different types of treatment so that it tastes the way that we want it to do. And at the time that we're doing it, in most cases, we're literally killing the life in the plant itself or the whatever that we're eating. Heat destroys enzymatic activity. The life in the food is literally destroyed by too much heat. Some of you, I'll say this, and I can't deal with tonight. Some of you probably shouldn't be eating raw foods. Some of you probably got too much pain to be eating raw foods. Some of you probably suffering from arthritic conditions. Some of you probably got problems with circulation. And raw foods is just too much for your body. It's too much acid in it for you. Your, your food needs to be cooked. Some of you, you got too much pain and, and that you're going through. What you need to do, make you some broth. Make you some beef broth. Make you some chicken broth. I'm talking about the, 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 the bone. Get the bone of the beef. And boil up that beef, boil those beef bones for about three hours and then strain it. You can, go up on, you can go up online and find out what to do. Same thing with chicken. And, and bring those enzymes out of the bones of that food. And then that's what you drink. Do that and stay, and stay away. If you got pain, again, I'm saying stay away from your raw foods. Fresh but cooked. Fresh but cooked. And then all of us have to be dealing with supplementation today. The foods just are not yielding. The ground is not yielding the nutrients as it once did. We pulled everything out of the uh, soil, didn't put anything back into the soil. So the crops that we're getting are devitalized. So we're at a point where we really have to specialize. Somebody has to be watching uh, the diet in the household today. And we've gotten away from that to the extent now that, well, it ain't so bad as it was, but the kids was faring for themselves. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, mayonnaise sandwiches, whatever they could get, <laughs> getting home. But th things have changed a little bit along those lines, but still we haven't satisfied this problem. So somebody's got to be watching the diet and we need to be supplementing. Last thing I want to talk to you about is friendly flora. This is friendly bacteria. All of us need good bacteria. This helps to boost the immune response also. The first thing that comes out of mother's breast after the baby is born is friendly flora. It's colostrum. What colostrum does is it coats the gastrointestinal tract. It produces a healthy lawn, L-A-W-N, in the gastrointestinal tract and that healthy lawn in that baby uh, produces um, antibodies. Everybody that comes and picks the baby up, they bring their germs. But this uh, friendly flora coming out of the nipples of the mother, coating the gastrointestinal tract of the child, helps the immune system in the child uh, produce the antibodies, and that's why even though we're coming in contact with the child, child just does not get sick, even though they're picking up, picking up virus after virus after virus. So friendly flora is, in, is important. Let me, tell you, let me tell you some money here. Talk some money here. This right here, the Secure AV, it retails for $50.34. It wholesales for $41.95. You can get this at a 20% discount if you buy it by the case, which means that it's 12 in the case. You can get 12 of these bottles 
for $41.95 a piece as opposed to $50.34. So what I've been suggesting to communities, churches, mosques, and others, buy the case and then share it with the public and you save almost $8 and some change off of every bottle with just this one here. So you can get the, you can get wholesale on all of this. 20% discount on the manufacturer's suggested retail price is on all of our products. So this one here, I suggest right now uh, for you all, everybody, everybody in the church needs it. Everybody should be using it. Um, everybody in your community should be using it. So whether you take it and share it with somebody else or somebody, somebody's going to come to you with this at, in time because it's really, it's moving and all of us need to be uh, using this. So I can take questions, uh, Bishop, uh, from anyone that may have questions here this evening. Thank you, Dr. Mary. Anybody have a question? Anybody have a question? Don't y'all be afraid to ask. Look, now's the time to ask. It don't matter what the question is. Now's the time to ask. It's about your health. Ask the question now. Not only probably you got the question, somebody else too. I deal with this all the time, Bishop. They got questions. <laughs> so, as soon as, look, one of y'all got to open up. Start this process. I don't know when the next time I'm going to be on the line with y'all. I got one question. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so um, I know that anytime I take any type of medicine, I usually have to let my doctor know that I'm taking it, uh, regardless what it is. Uh, it's not it's not an argument with the doctors when uh, you start telling the doctors about this stuff, is it? No, no, and and this isn't medicine. I got you. Yeah, this this isn't medicine. I do suggest that you have a conversation with your your doctor, particularly particularly if he is into integrative medicine. Right. So, and, and all of them are not. But I can't, I can't, uh, I, I, quite naturally, I couldn't ever tell you not to take something that your doctor is telling you to take. And I can say that this, this is not going to interfere with anything that you're taking. All right. And you also said you was, you was, you was naming several different medicines, uh, several different uh, vitamins and whatnot you could take. Yeah. Uh, based on what you were just saying tonight, so do I need to take a late? two or three different things is what you're saying? Yeah, your gut formula, your wellness formula, the gut health wellness formula, were those three outside of the secure AV. Right. This is where everything starts. Death begins in the colon. So life starts there too. So digestion, elimination, excretion, secretion, circulation, all of those processes start on, down in the gastrointestinal tract. So what we have is we've got a formula that deals with digestion, circulation, and friendly flora to start nurturing the gastrointestinal tract back to its health, and then we build everything around it. If a person has arthritic conditions or any autoimmune disorders or anything else, then we start building around it. Joint pain or whatever it is, we build, we build around it. But okay. But there is a foundation here. It's three, it's, and it's three items. Digestion, circulation, and friendly flora. All right, thank you. Welcome. If you go to my website, you can see it there. In fact, Bishop, I sent you a video today, this evening, and you could share it. You could, you could forward it out to everybody. And it's really, it's a five-minute video uh, that I just did on on digestion. I did it today. In fact, you can go to YouTube. If you put in my name, you, you pick me up on YouTube. It's there on YouTube. Uh, posted there on YouTube also. So, um, but I did send it to Bishop. But if you go to my website, drnuradine.com, you will find these products there. All right. Uh -huh. Questions? Next time I come back, uh, uh, Bishop, well, I don't know. Maybe I may not be coming back. So, 
questions. See, I have to encourage y'all. I have to encourage y'all to ask questions. I know you got questions. I know you got questions. But I have to encourage you to ask them. Somebody? Questions? Okay. Thank you, Dr. Naveen, because that information is what we need uh, to stay healthy. Sick people can't do God's will. Sick people can't help anybody because they're sick. So we need to build our immune system up, which I have the product as well. And I'm doing good, doing better. And I tell you, um, we need to do better if we're going to do God's work. Correct. Say sick people cannot help sick people. So we need well people. We need people that can be able to do what God has called them to do. Mm -hmm. And that is work in the kingdom of God to be able to serve the man, to be serve, serve people. Because you can go to all the stores in Greensboro and they got all kinds of health products, but nobody tell you what these products are for. Uh, nobody explain to you what they do. And most people, they look in a book, try to find the answers. But you need to have an expert like Dr. Nerdy, been in business over 30, 40 years. They can help you navigate, uh, not just getting fillers, stuff that doesn't have any value to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's billions of dollars made through these different stores on health product, but we have no knowledge of what we are taking. This information, uh, I thank God for uh, Dr. Nerdy coming in and sharing with us because he gets, uh, he travels around the world give information, this information is expensive. It's, it's not free, but he had given to us with no child. He goes to conferences and he talked to people and, and is very lucrative what he does, but he's trying to help our churches, our mosques, our synagogues, and people don't even go to church or mosques or synagogues anywhere trying to help us to live better and healthier. Why spend all your money uh, going back with the doctors and not getting better, getting worse? So we thank God for the doctor. We thank God for the naturopath doctor, Dr. Mirity, all the people. You might not have no question, but um, the Bible said we, we perish because of lack of knowledge. Amen? Yeah. We perish because of lack of knowledge. And we thank God for Dr. Mirity. We're going to uh, get ready to go into our scripture for tonight. And we're not going to hold you. But we got to thank him for him being with us and hope we be able to come back again. But we'll you yeah. have more questions. And I know you will. But tonight we want you to turn your uh, Bible. We're going to look at uh, Isaiah 45 and 1. And write down the questions you might have and let me know and we'll make sure we get them to Dr. Nerdane because I'll go on his website and you can see. And J Jamaica uh, my daughter-in-law is helping him with his website. He's work, she's worked with him on the, on the website. He gave an opportunity to work and learn, and she's doing a great job. And look at the website. Jamaica Fowler has been working with that, and she is doing a great job working with Dr. Nerdy and giving that opportunity. We appreciate it dearly. Uh, Isaiah 45 and 1, it does said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holy to subdue nations before him. And I will loose the loins of kings to open before the two levers gates. And the gates shall not be shut. So God has opened opportunity. That's what he's saying here. God has opened opportunity. Even in captivity, Cyrus, they call him the anointed one. And that's the first time that word a normally used with a heathen king. But God was God can use whoever he wants to use. I said the Lord can use whoever he wants to use. And I praise God tonight because the Lord has used Dr. Nerding to share with us some very important things about nutrition. Now, I went to uh, 
was a lady in Greensboro that was a, 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 a homopathic doctor uh, in Greensboro. Uh, she was from Marsville and she didn't take insurance. And you and it would cost you two and three thousand uh, dollars for your treat before your treatment, but just for she's retired now, but it would cost you thousands of dollars just for her to do an evaluation on you. And she didn't take insurance. She worked Martinsville and she moved from Martinsville to Greensboro and worked for many, many years in Greensboro. Same thing he's sharing with you free. Uh, she was charging oh, thousands of dollars for that, that information. So I thank God for, for him sharing. God can use whomever he will. We thank God for using him. Now the gate was shut, uh, was not shut rather. God opened that door, that, that door that he had opened for Israel, even in bondage. And he used the word here, his own. Colin Cyrus which was a non-Jewish uh, king, uh, his anointed. This word is one of them translated from the Hebrew word, uh, Messiah. In other words, they would call him a Messiah, even though he was not a Jew. Uh, and, uh, it is also used for Messiah, Redeemer, or King. So they respect him as a Messiah, uh, as a king, the same as uh, Psalms 22 uh, two and 2. And then 926, uh, 25. So here you, you're dealing with a uh, a king that was not a Jew, that was they was in bondage in the in their land, but he was referred to to Cyrus uh, as a king that was uh, set apart uh, for God's providence and, uh, and for God's purpose. See, God can use whoever uh, He will, and see we have a problem. Uh, we don't know a person, uh, uh, and, and but we don't know who God is using. And I know, I mean, maybe all experience uh, in life that sometimes God will need to be careful uh, uh, how you entertain strangers because you may be entertaining an uh, angel on well. But I have met, met so many people that was not in my faith or was not saved or just people that I met didn't know, but they had shared some things uh, in my life. It has been very beneficial. And I, I praise God for those doors that the Lord has allowed me uh, to be there to hear and learn so many, many uh, awesome things that God has allowed me with people that didn't know me, but God found favor uh, with, with them to share. And I praise God um, how did God use whoever he wants to use and whenever he gets ready. So here, the king of uh, uh, Cyrus will be used of God for his purpose, for God's purpose and, and for God's providence. Praise be the name of the Lord. And though not a worshiper of the Lord, he wasn't even a worshiper. He was not even a worshiper or anything else, but God used him. He was a Persian monarch. Over he was a Persian king that played an unusual role uh, in the plan of God and then also in the plan of Israel as a shepherd in and, and, uh, Isaiah 44. And 28, you know, God used a heathen man, not even one of them, but God anointed him uh, to use him for his purpose. In God, also God saints, he uses bankers, he uses educators, he uses judges, he uses unjust just judge. God used him. When the, when, the, when the widow came to him and to avenge her, uh, and unjust judge, he's neither he God nor man. But yet, and since she worried him so, she kept going back to the unjust judge. God got in the mind of the unjust judge, okay, just take what you want. Just leave me alone. God got in the mind of Cyrus, and God gave, uh, uh, let God judge through Cyrus for the nation of Israel, through Cyrus. So God chooses, and he had chosen Cyrus to do a job for him. <laughs> Hallelujah. God can take whatever you want to do and make somebody bless you that has already denied you. But God took that same person denied you and make him say, go ahead and do it. Why? Because God gets in the mind and make people do whatever God, providence allow, and they do it because of God, because of the power of God. And, and, and uh, he speaks to a heathen as a normal stranger, here you got to speak to a, a heathen, a stranger, a, as a as a messiah, and we usually think of God 
uh, God's man is Moses and people like that that's known of God. Not Cyrus, which was a Persian king, but here is God using a, non, uh, a heathen man and God used all kind of creatures for his benefit. Well, they are Israelites or not. Man can choose whom they will, so God choose whom he will. But God, he's God, he knows what he's doing. So whenever God gives us an opportunity to be blessed, I praise God for it. I praise God for information I received tonight with so many people dying, with even people getting the uh, COVID-19, even with the with shots and boosters, they're still getting sick and some have to go into the hospital. But uh, Oprah was got sick and she, um, and she was talking about how sick she was when she hit the shot and the booster, but she got so sick. She says she got sick unto death. And but it's still God's providence. She's still here. Praise God. But so many uh, millions and thousands did not make it. So when God sends information, thank God for it. I praise God for information because it, it allows us. And thank God for Dr. Newton because he wants to share with uh, our church and other churches around uh, all over the country uh, benefit. His wife also that assist him in their, their endeavors. And I praise God for what they are doing to uh, save lives and make our lives better. Amen. People took all kind of um, things for uh, hardware and all that. Now they got uh, lawsuits and stuff against these companies that made these different and acid. It destroys other things. So that's because uh, you get it from this place or that place. A lot of time it has side effects and end up killing you anyway. So uh, the natural way, thank God for the natural way. Thank God for the way God has prepared through his process of natural means. Now, this uh, verses that we're talking about, what God anointed him, it, uh, it also that he might subdue uh, the nation. When the God opens the gate, open the door, saints of God. Walk in. When God opens a way, don't question the Lord. Walk in that and be blessed. But this, the gate was open, he said, and sent you uh, through the gate. So God sent us through this gate, and we cannot fail. So we can't fail when God opened a door. Uh, so God, uh, in my life, I don't know about you, God, the Lord has opened, Jesus Christ has opened so many doors for me that, that I ever, never, ever thought I'd walk in. Doors that he has opened for me, I never, first of all, I thank God for being saved, first of all. First of all, I thank him for saving my soul. I was lost. I, I, I didn't have a, a, a savior on my side. And, and, and I thank God for the people of God, the, the saints of God, that the Lord Jesus Christ put in my path to share it and so into my life. When I came to Smyrna, I was in my 20s. I had been in the military, I got out, I was an angry young man, and, and, and but I found so much love and compassion in Smyrna. He said, love and kindness by Rome, deep. If we get back that call, uh, to that thing called love, if we get back, not love those who love you, but I mean, get back to the sanctification, back to holiness, uh, back to loving one another, sharing one another, taking time with one another. Well, people now are in such a big hurry, they run in the church, they run out of the church, they inherit their time to fellowship. Take some time. You don't see each other once a week. Take some time to share. I don't want to see anybody else run out of the church and not stop and share. People say, well, you go to the mall, you go to the store, you wear your mask, wear your mask. Uh, I'm sure people are, are probably better, more safe than the people that you meet in the street. But let's learn to share with each other and this talk to one another, those few moments, because those moments I shared with Bishop and Deacon Walker and the deacons at church and the brothers at church, those moments was, was moments to share that helped me to grow and to prosper uh, because I wasn't saved, but they was talking about the goodness of the Lord and that's what I needed. And I, want, I said to myself, I want what they got. I want what they got. I want to know the Lord. I want to feel the Lord, but they got what I need. So take time out to share, saints. Stop running. When I leave church sometime and I get to the outside, get dressed, everybody going. The parking lot is completely empty. 
because people are in a hurry to get where they're going, but take some time out. Life is too short. Share, because you don't know who got what you need. And, and you can, and, and I tell you, saints are not going to tell you anything wrong. Saints love you and they care about you. Spend some time with the people of God. Amen, somebody. I'll give myself a pat on the back. Thank you, Jesus. He said, and Cyrus said, and it's God said, they sent him to the gates. You cannot fail. He said, you cannot fail. You're going through the gate. It's the enemy gates, but you're going up in there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take care of it. The right hand has to do with, with the spiritual side. Saints are going in there. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to look out for you. Don't be afraid of them. Hallelujah. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus, because somebody had the, the miracle happen today for you. Somebody opened the door for you that was closing your face. He says here in the 45th chapter of Isaiah, he says, I open a door, walk in it. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. Trust God, saints of God. Hallelujah. I thank God for the doors he opened. And I was talking to someone and they were sharing with me. They were looking for a place and uh, they were sharing with me and they had to make some, uh, some transitions. They had to make some transition and need to move quickly. I said, well, look, just keep it to yourself. Don't testify about this. Just keep your mouth shut and wait on God. And then a few days later, maybe a week or so, the, uh, the person called me back. So you know what? I was at doing some business, helping someone out. God opened that door. Hallelujah. Praise God, somebody. But in, they said it was in the elevator with this young lady. Hallelujah. And the young lady was in the elevator. Uh, said, you know what? Said, um, she didn't know who the young lady was. And, but the young lady said, uh, you, you still live in an apartment. She was shocked. But God was in the elevator. Hallelujah. You don't know which way. Open the gate. He says here in the 45th chapter here. Open the gate. Walk the in. He said the right hand is there to do whatever uh, spiritual science you need. So a lot of doors are being opened to the saints of God, but we're so afraid. We're trusting in ourselves and not trusting in the spirit of God. He says here, with the spirit of God on your side. Somebody give God a praise. The whole world will know that the victory Cyprus had of who was of God. God was the one that did. There will be no doubt that God is God. Even that God can take your enemies and people against you, and He can make those folks before you. Hallelujah! I know what I'm talking about saints. I've been in meetings at work. I've been in situations where it looked like it, the whole the group was against me. Hallelujah! And I went in there into a fiery situation, and people are saying things about uh, what I was doing, but I never said a word. God said, "Shut up! Don't say a word." And before the meeting was over, they said, you know what, Paul, you're doing a great job. He said, uh, go out there and pick out your another Cadillac uh, and because the one you got, we're going to park it and you get another. Praise be to God. Go fill it with gas. Hallelujah. You tell me God ain't good. When the gates swing open, hallelujah, the saints going to walk in. And I come to tell you, saints of God, stop bagging up. When God send you someplace, you got a door open, walk there in. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of God. There is no doubt in God. God is God, saints. When he opened that door, and the young lady told me, said, you know what? Said there was an elevator, and the lady said, they come back Monday morning, and, and, and so we can sign some papers. Let me tell you, God is our own time God. Huh? Yes, he is. He's our own time God. Yes, he is. He's our own time God. He's not late. He's always on time. And Isaiah 45 and 2 says, Hallelujah. I mean, I, I'm not Isaiah. Isaiah says 45 and 2 says, I will go before thee. Hallelujah. I will go before thee and make the crooked place straight. Hallelujah. Listen to what I'm saying, saints of God. I know my time is running out. He said, I go, I will go before thee. Somebody's hearing me tonight. Listen to me, saints of God. He said, I'll make the crooked place straight and I will break in pieces the gates of the bars and cuts in cinder the bars of iron. So all these things that are in your way, saints of God, there is no doubt in God. There is no fear in God. There is no lack, brother, uh, Pastor Bishop uh, 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 was saying here about Ron Corbett saying, Bishop Ron Corbett saying, there is no lack in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's no lack. He got everything we need. If we put walk through the gates, he said walk through the gates, anything is crooked, anything out of place, I'll straighten it out. If smiles against you, hold your thing, your blessing back, 
Don't worry about it. It's I'll straighten it out. In a crooked place, crooked people doing crooked stuff. He said, don't worry about it. I'll straighten it out. Praise be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God has called us to this path of holiness and to righteousness, saints of God. He, had, he said, it is God who clears the way for him. It was a God who cleared the way for the people of Israel. It's the same God. He changed it not. If God cleared the way for Israel, he'll clear the way for you. Hallelujah. Smear enough. God have already cleared the way. He have always made the way. Also, historical facts and historians has told us that the gates of Babylon was a pure brass. Hallelujah. And perhaps what is what it meant here is hallelujah. It was some strong things there. Bob. The bars of iron were there to hold you out and hinder you from opening the gates. But the doors was probably wooden covered with iron, but and brass, but to make things apparently to the world to be very strong. God can move the gates. He can move trouble. He can move tribulation. He can move the things in your life that's calling you home. Somebody's facing a sickness right now. God can move that sickness. That thing that you're facing right now. It seems like it's hard. You can't go over it. You can't go under it. You can't go around it. But don't worry about it. God said, he has said, I cleared the way. Walk therein. Hallelujah. Somebody has to give God a praise on tonight. Your way has been made plain. And he made the crooked street in your life. Praise be the name of the Lord. He says in Isaiah 45 and 3, I will give thee the treasures of darkness. Oh, praise be to God when things are hidden from you. In this dark place that you can't find your way. He said, the hidden places I'll bring down. Hallelujah. I'll make it so you can see what I have in store for you. Praise be the name of God. He opened the doors. He'll make way in the, and give the treasures of darkness. He had, he hideth the riches of the secret places, saints of God, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which called thee by thy name, I am the God of Israel. If he's the God of Israel, he's the God of the saints. He's the God of the church. Uh, my time is running. I didn't get a chance to finish this great lesson, but we thank God for Dr. Nuradine, a man with great integrity, been in this field for many, many years. Look at his website, check it out. I highly recommend you do because if you get something, anything uh, uh, that he can help you with, he's more than help you. Don't die and, and, and you got a way to get better. You got medicine, you got cabinets full of medication, and you're getting worse. The lady that had the issue of blood for 12 long years, she spent all she had at the physicians, and she got worse. And guess what? She touched the hem of his garment, and she came home. Let me tell you something. When I was, when I got out of the hospital with pneumonia, they gave me uh, vitamins. They gave me vitamin C, vitamin D, and they gave me an inhaler. And I never went on, on anything else than inhaler. And they told me, said, you do this, you use this inhaler, it will keep your lungs clear, and it don't cost you a fortune, and you don't have to be in the hospital. And a doctor nearly mentioned that tonight, a use an inhaler, keep your lungs clear. And somebody is on all kind of medication, you're not getting better. But as I pray tonight for you, I lift my hands. I want you to lift your hands towards your monitor, your phone, whatever. I want you to lift those hands, those holy hands. The Lord, listen to me very carefully. The Lord has opened some doors for you. He has made the way clear. He has made the dark places clear to you. Some darkness may be in your life, but God's going to give you the light of his word tonight. This is going to be the night of your victory, your miracle, your way out, and your way in. Because the doors are open for whatever you need tonight. As I speak to you, I to receive this word and say to yourself, the Lord has cleared the way for me to go in, to receive what he has for me. The Lord, say it with me, the Lord have cleared the way for me to go in to get what I need from him. Say it again, 
Th the third time of the charm, the Lord has cleared the way for, get, for me to get what I need. And whatever you need, saints, the Lord has already cleared the way. Praise be the name of God. We are going back to apostolic holiness all the way. I'm not cutting on corners. I'm not playing on games. We're going back to tearing on the altar. We're going back. Time is winding up, saints. You see what's happening over there. You don't know when it's going to be over here. You don't know when it's going to be in here in where you are today. You don't know what might happen on tonight or tomorrow. But let's get ourselves ready for whatever happens. We'll be in the arms of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So get start praying, fasting, get on the altar. We're going to have terror service every Sunday before we leave. And we want everybody, missionaries, we want deacons, everybody to get involved in this service move by God. The Lord has cleared the way for everything that you need, saints of God. It is whatever you stand in need of, the Lord has already done it by faith. And I want you to stop using that word hope. Ain't no hope in faith. You either faith, you either got it, or you don't have it. Amen. You got it or you don't have it. Now, I'm not hoping for nothing. I believe that the Lord is going to work it out. So tonight, thank you for listening in. Praise God for what we hear on tonight. Believe, saints. Believe the word. Believe the word. He's already cleared the way. And I want you to get in your Bibles. And I want you to read all this the rest of this month. Don't read another scripture. You read Isaiah 45 for the rest of the month. And you're going to see heaven open up for you. You're going to see heaven open up for you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Bishop Corbett. Working at all. Working at all. Let us go take this word, study it. You're going to be surprised what you get out of this word on the rest of this month, saints. You're going to be surprised the doors. The clearness and the way God has made in your life is going to be unbelievable. You're going to come back and thank me for, the, for, for Isaiah 45. You're going to say, Pastor, thank you for giving me this word. Because somebody got conditioned in their body, somebody struggling with other areas of your life, and other things are going on with your children and, and your job or whatever. But you read this scripture this week. God has opened the doors, He has cleared the way for all of us. Praise be in the name of the Lord. Father God, we thank you for the night. We thank you for being able to share with the people of God. Not only spiritual word, but also words to for our health and our physical man. Luke was a physician that God, that Jesus Christ, set Luke the physician. The Lord had a man that was a physician to care, take care of the natural body. And God gave doctors and he gave people on this planet, on this earth, to assist us in all areas of our life. Thank God for the people of God that work in our nurses and our doctors and operating people, uh, operating rooms and technicians and even one to clean the place up, cooks and whatever. We praise the name of the Lord for those folks that put the life on the line every day to make sure we'll be okay. Praise God for what he's doing. I speak of wellness and wholeness in your life. I speak the special thing tonight, Lord, just hit my spirit about diabetes, Somebody that's struggling with diabetes, Lord is touching you. You the dealing with diabetes, God is touching your body. Uh, the Lord is dealing with somebody with arthritis in your left leg, your left knee is giving you a lot of problems. That left leg, left knee is giving you a lot of issues, a lot of problems. The Lord is speaking to your leg, your knee tonight, right now. I, I feel in my spirit that He's doing it right now for you. Somebody struggling with you with breathing. Uh, your lungs, God is touching your body right now. I want to, the person with that struggle with your breathing, your lungs, just take a deep breath. Right now, just take a deep breath. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I feel it in my spirit. I'm speaking to someone that, that, that have a condition in your stomach and, and gallbladder area, your lower part of your stomach. I, I'm praying. I'm touching green right now for your healing. Right now, in Jesus' name. And don't worry, and someone is afraid that um, because their condition, they're going to die early. You're not going to die. You're going to live. You give glory to the Lord. You're going to live. 
you know, speak to yourselves, I'm going to live and show forth the glory of the Lord. I'm praying. Thank God for the witness tonight through your spirit to give me revelation knowledge to speak those things that are not as they were. I'm speaking to, to someone right now. Be healed, be set free in Jesus' name. You have a blessed night. Thank you so much for listening to us. May God truly bless and keep you in Jesus' name. Have a good night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.